Hello, Aaron here with Grow Lawn. Today I'm coming to you from my home lawn, this beautiful St. Augustine lawn, as you can see. And we just got a bunch of rain. It's August 28th, 2019. And I, I was coming out earlier today to check out, just to make sure I didn't have any lawn fungus. And it, what looks like brown patch, I came out and I was just messing around. And I didn't see any brown patch. And I, and I came across something even worse, and that's grubs. And I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like before this turns into a dead mess. So if I can ask my wife to come a little closer, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna start to see what maybe looks like brown patch, so maybe some yellowing. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just grab the grass, not right there, not right there, not right there, right here see how that comes back with no resistance and then of course you want to look for grubs i just put some sulfur down on the yard um, but this is what it looks like what is it, it just put, look how there's no resistance at all and there's one grub on the very top so if we dig a hole in here look at that it just it's coming back like carpet it's so disturbing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke around to get back up and get see if we can find a few more. Because one grub isn't gonna cause you problems. Here's another one. Look at that good dirt. So we got grow lawn ugly weeds treating the yard. There's another one. one. A one cubic foot hole. And so far this is just a sharpshooter, which not even close to one cubic foot yet. We've already found two grubs in a small area. Oh man. Here's another one. Here's another one. So we have, oh, look at that monster. So we have four grubs in this little section right here. It's fair to say that that's not one cubic foot. I have a grub problem. Hello, just want to interrupt the video real quick to tell you guys why I got grubs. Many years I used my own lawn as a guinea pig and this year i purposely didn't put out grub control to see what would happen and sure enough i got grubs and grubs like to attack healthy green lawns and i have a healthy green lawn and i didn't put out grub prevention but in years when i do put out grub prevention i never have a problem with grubs and i use a product called merit and merit is one of the best grub preventers you can get you can also use the celeprin and orthene although with orthene you're probably going to have to apply uh, two or three times a year. Uh, at Grow Lawn Ugly Weeds, we apply Merit twice a year to give our customers season-long control of grubs. Um, I did apply Dilox to the property. When you have grubs feeding, you're going to need to apply a curative grub control. And Dilox is a really good product we've used on this lawn. We applied it a couple days ago, and so we shouldn't have any more problem with grubs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my office tomorrow and I'm going to buy, not buy, I already have uh, grub control and I'm going to put this down tomorrow. Um, they're not going to, they're probably not going to affect the, the all of your yard, but I'm going to put it on my whole yard because all of this yellowing that you're seeing through here is all grubs. See, see how that comes back and you don't know, it doesn't look terrible. And so you kind of like, oh, maybe it's just, hot outside or whatever, but it's grubs. So grubs can hit you twice a year in North Texas. They're gonna get you in the spring and they're gonna get you this time of year. Usually I see it later in the season, like September, October, but right now they're, they're eating my lawn. So um, I'm gonna get the, on this tomorrow. So it might be a good idea to get a grub prevention treatment on your lawn, whether it's ugly weeds or yourself or another company, but now's the time to do it. Um, give us a call at 817-447-7711.
Go to our website at uglyweeds.com. My trusty helper Cheyenne here, looking for grubs. Please subscribe to the channel. Have a good day.